June Maeda, the creator of several cry poor in dramedies, said he will never write another story and the prime reason he did it was because he was constantly being harassed by the fans. This caused some drama at Reddit, with half the people complaining about the toxic community that causes stress to the creators and eventually makes them give up. The other half of the community was of the belief Maeda had it coming for overstuffing his stories with a lot of elements he had not enough time to properly explore. And truly, if you check his earlier works, he had simple plots and a lot of episodes, while his later works had complex plots and few episodes. Since his core audience was always an army of virgin porn gamers, oh, I'm sorry, I meant timid visual novel enthusiasts, moving from something simple that was taking its time in developing whatever pornography was labeled as plot to something that had a lot of stuff happening in a fraction of the time, it wasn't allowing the timid visual novel enthusiasts to properly ejaculate, I mean, enjoy the plot in its fullest. And thus you had the drama of half of those people complaining about toxic behavior and the other half calling it feedback, which is not that different from what I am experiencing recently, with bookstore owners calling me on the phone for telling me the authors don't like it when I call their crappy stories, crappy stories, or when feminists fill the comment section of my reviews with claims such as women are not writing mostly about their emotions instead of focusing on the plot, even though it's true and exceptions only serve in proving the rule. So what would the ideal scenario be in this case so there wouldn't be any drama? Should nobody be allowed to complain? Should comments only be positive? Should creators never be told what their audience doesn't like? How will they improve? And what if they can't improve and instead get worse with time, like in the case of Maeda? Are they not allowed to stop creating for the sake of not causing more drama? Well, guess what, my darlings? They would create a drama either way. In fact, regardless of what a creator or a consumer decides to do, there is always going to be drama because it's impossible to please everybody. If Maeda got sick and tired of hearing how much his stories suck for being rushed, and he can't improve because he got too old and cynical to keep writing pornography for 20-year-old virgins, then who is he supposed to listen to? The part of the fandom that wants him to stop doing it, or the part that is pleased no matter how rushed and undeveloped the plot porn is going to be? There is no choice for pleasing everyone, so whatever he does will have the same outcome. A lot of people complaining because you not only can't improve, but you also get worse with each next project. The guy burned out and retired. What did you expect him to do? Keep creating more products for 20-year-old virgins to consume and keep being excited for more products? Although they were getting worse and worse with time? My answer to this drama is this. Oh, hey, Maeda, you finally gave up? What took you so long? As for all the good people whose feelings were hurt because he retired, you know how many trashy shows and porn games are being made every year by more talented people? And you know you can play an RPG or a battle royale? Or perhaps read an actual good book that doesn't feed on your virginity and actually make you a better critical thinker? You can actually do all that! You don't need Maeda! You have options, most of which are way better than whatever he created! Try them out!